Finally tonight, a quick update regarding Danbury, Connecticut, dubbed America's Hat City by Meaningless Bygone Superlatives magazine. You may remember, a few months ago, we insulted the unassuming city of Danbury for no clear reason, and the citizens there responded magnificently with multiple Danburyans insulting me in YouTube videos, and the mayor declaring that he would name their sewage plant the John Oliver Memorial Sewer Plant because it's full of shit just like me. All of which was excellent. Now, disappointingly, the mayor then claimed that his threat was just a joke, so to try and force his hand, we offered to donate donate $55,000 to local charities on the strict condition they made the name official. Well, there has been a bit of an update. A cheeky back and forth between the city of Danbury and popular show host John Oliver making a stink in this city. Tonight, it was front and center at the city's virtual council meeting. The mayor reading supportive comments from residents. The community spirit this feud has generated is priceless. A vote got pushed to Thursday, but the mayor told us the votes are there. He believes the feud is creating another tourist destination in the state. I've got small bleachers set up outside the ponds that hold all of the uh, solid waste. And you can sit on your bleacher, have your picnic and watch the plant operate. Uh, and it'll be very, very exciting. There is a lot to love there, from the town's seeming enthusiasm to the fact that the mayor seems to think watching water filtration is a must-see thrill ride. No one enjoys sitting in bleachers watching raw sewage move around. Just ask any fan of the New York Giants. It's been a rough few seasons. But the fact is, things have escalated here. Local businesses started to fundraise and support in the effort and have so far raised $45,000 for area food banks. Danbury's local hockey team has been selling special hat tricks t-shirts benefiting ALS Connecticut with the name of the character I played in 2008's The Love Guru, and Mayor Mark is even offering to give personal tours of the sewer plant for $500 a piece, again, all for charity. It's all been going very well. But you might have heard there, the vote was postponed until last Thursday, which is how I found myself at home watching Danbury City Council meetings on Zoom with bated breath. And I will say, some members expressed concerns. While I appreciate the humor during a, a time when we could all use a laugh, I'd have to say that I, I personally don't find anything funny about insulting our community, and least of all about threatening violence towards children. I'm just going to be voting no. You know what? That's fair. I did invite all Danbarians to come get a thrashing from me, children included. Although, in my defense, I'm clearly no threat to anybody. I have the physical presence of al dente spaghetti. If I was a boxer, my weight class would be not detected, and my entrance music would be Norma Jean's Please Don't Hurt Me. I am fragile. And that man was not the only one with qualms. I'm really proud of our waste treatment plan. One of the first things I did years ago when I got on the council, along with Councilman Chinese, is um, uh, organize a tour, and we took a tour of the plant. And I was agog. I thought it was like this amazing machine that turns, you know, stuff you don't really want on the bottom of your shoe into something that you can drink or almost drink. So, I, you know, when I heard we were naming that machine, it's integral to the community, after this guy, I... Uh, no way. God, I love city council meetings. Where else can you hear someone talk about the time they were struck speechless by the sheer beauty of municipal waste filtration? Although he does gloss pretty quickly there over the difference between water you can drink and water you can almost drink. You can almost drink a lot of things. Mercury, antifreeze, Mountain Dew. Almost can do a lot of heavy lifting. Although I am happy to say that man eventually voted yes, although in doing so said he hoped I'd come to terms with the statements I made towards Danbury, which I absolutely have, and I regret nothing.